In this quick video, I'm going to show you how we tested our new survival broadhead so you can be sure it's effective and reliable for you when you need it. Let's take a look at Easton's kinetic energy recommendation chart to get an idea of what to expect from a survival broadhead. We're going to concentrate on this kinetic energy range, 25 to 41 foot-pounds, which is the most reasonable range for survival hunting. But note for the largest game, only 65 foot-pounds is needed. And as a quick reminder, kinetic energy is the energy that is transferred to the arrow as you shoot it to make it move and cause damage to the game. You won't hear it put that way in physics class, but it's good enough for what we're doing. And kinetic energy is only dependent on two things, mass of the projectile and velocity or speed of the projectile. It is important to note arrow speed claims are meaningless without knowing the weight of the arrow. In our case, we built this testing slug for the PVC air gun. It weighs 956 grains with the arrowhead. We also made sure the holder was utterly unforgiving to the broadhead by making a sharp attachment point here. This strained the arrowhead as much as possible in the shank area, which is a common failure point. Also notice we used unsharpened broadheads for most of the tests. That's because a sharp arrowhead would easily cut through the target, penetrate deeper, and make energy transfer slower. Here you can see, even with an unsharpened broadhead, it easily goes through four inches of telephone books, impacting the wood backstop. We wanted a sharp energy transfer profile to strain the arrowhead as much as possible. You'll see how this comes into effect when we do the final concrete block destruction test. Back to Easton's recommendations, our target energy range for survival hunting is between 25 and 41 foot-pounds. So to be sure, we tested the arrowhead from 50 foot-pounds to well over 200 foot-pounds. This is way over what you will ever need for survival hunting. And we tested the same arrowhead over and over. Okay, you get the idea. Sometimes the arrowhead bent a little at the shank. This wouldn't typically happen on an arrow shaft. The shaft would break long before the broadhead would bend. If the broadhead was bent, we just straightened it. We did this many times on the same arrowhead to see when it would break. This one was straightened over a dozen times before the metal finally fatigued and cracked. Again, in real world use, the shaft would break long before the arrowhead would bend. Now finally, here's the setup for the final destruction test. We obviously couldn't chrono this, but based on earlier testing, we shot directly into this 3-inch thick concrete block at point-blank range, with an estimated 330 feet per second and an impressive 230 foot-pounds. And at 230 foot-pounds, we finally broke it. But you should never expect to use this broadhead at these extreme energy levels. If you look at the failure points though, the tip broke off, and then it broke again at this point. But you still have a 3 quarter inch cutting width, and the shank is still intact and functional. Remember that Easton chart? For survival game, we're really working in this range here, and maybe up in this range. But Cape Buffalo and Grizzly only need 65 foot-pounds of energy. We had to go all the way up to 230 foot-pounds, shooting point blank into concrete to break it. So after seeing this video, you can be sure this inexpensive broadhead will do everything you need for survival hunting. We showed you how we absolutely torture tested this broadhead, and it's clearly strong enough to handle your survival hunting. We also made sure they were affordable, so you can have as many as you need in your hunting, bushcraft, or bug out bag, and always have them when you need them. So go ahead and click on the link below this video to get it directly from Amazon.com.